Backdoor Roth IRA Conversions Today, I want to show you how to use TurboTax to correctly report a backdoor Roth IRA so that a Form 8606 can be correctly generated step by step If you're not aware of what a backdoor Roth IRA is Oh ho ho! You won't want to miss this video too Alright, let's dive right in This is what it is, okay? Be water, my friend Welcome back to the Kind Juju Base channel where we share useful tips and skills to navigate life. First off, disclaimers, don't take my content as professional financial advice. First, I'll introduce what a backdoor Roth IRA conversion is and why one would want to do it. Second, I'll show step by step how to use TurboTax to report this backdoor Roth IRA conversion to properly generate a correct Form 8606 for your tax returns. And lastly, I'll go over how a correctly filed Form 8606 should look like. If you already know about the backdoor Roth IRA and are just here for the TurboTax tutorial, go ahead and click on the timestamps below to jump ahead. Alright, what is a backdoor Roth IRA? A backdoor Roth IRA consists of two moves. You contribute post-tax money into a traditional IRA and then later convert it into a Roth IRA. Why do such a thing? Firstly, consider that the Roth IRA allows one to grow their dollars tax-free. However, there are income limits that must be satisfied for one to contribute to a Roth IRA. For example, in year 2021, you are filing as a single person and made a modified adjusted gross income or MAGAI for short of more than $125,000 then you will not be able to contribute the full $6,000 contribution limit into the Roth IRA. If you are above $140,000, sorry, you can't contribute to the Roth IRA at all. However, the traditional IRA does not impose such income limits. So no matter how much you earn, you can still contribute to a traditional IRA. As of 2021, the maximum contribution limit is $6,000. Therefore, this tax loophole allows high income earners to indirectly contribute to a Roth IRA via this method called the backdoor Roth IRA. Okay, cool. What are the tax implications though? Are you supposed to be taxed on this event? No, because you are contributing post-tax money into your traditional IRA and then merely converting that into a Roth IRA. Let me repeat, post-tax money means you already paid taxes on it. One caveat though, this is true as long as while the dollars are sitting in your traditional IRA, they did not appreciate in value. If they did, then the gains will be taxed. One more thing to watch out for is that for this conversion to be tax-free, you have to make sure your, your traditional, simple, and set IRA does not have any dollars at all by the end of the year that you did the Roth IRA conversion. If this is not true, then something called the pro rata rule will kick in, which means your conversion now will be prorated so that a portion of it comes from tax-deferred money and a portion of it comes from post-tax money. This video will not talk about how those taxes are calculated when the pro rata rule applies. Alright, so that is basically the backdoor Roth IRA in a nutshell. Now, with great power comes great responsibility, says Uncle Ben. If you executed such a move, we need to report this in our tax returns. At the end of the day, a Form 8606 needs to be filed as part of your tax returns. This brings us to the second part of the video, how to use TurboTax to correctly file a backdoor Roth IRA to correctly generate a Form 8606. Here, I would like to give credit to a blogger called thefinancebuff.com who created very solid tutorials on to do backdoor of IRA taxes on TurboTax. I am merely presenting what I've learned from that blog post in video form. I will link his blog post down in the description box below. Feel free to check it out. Okay, so let's consider this situation. Our friend here, Mo Moran, contributes $6,000 to a traditional IRA in 2021 and then immediately converts it to Roth IRA in the same year as well and has $0 in traditional, simple and SEP IRA by the end of the year. For the sake of this discussion, let's call his move a clean backdoor Roth IRA conversion. This video will not cover the late or unplanned backdoor Roth IRA conversion where you contributed to your traditional IRA in the time period between January 2022 and April. April 2022, that makes the process more complicated and I will not talk about that. Instead, I will refer you to the financebuff.com's blog post on the late unplanned backdoor of IRA conversions. Okay, now back, back to Momoran's situation. When filing taxes in 2022, 
your broker will issue you a Form 1099-R. This form reports the distribution, i.e. money coming out from your traditional IRA. Okay, so we are here now on the online version of TurboTax. On a high level, the steps are to get your Form 1099-R into TurboTax, review that form, answer a bunch of questions regarding your traditional IRA to Roth IRA conversion, and then report a non-deductible contribution to your traditional IRA. Let's start at the homepage. Under Wages and Income section, let's show you how to get your Form 1099-R into TurboTax. Scroll down till you see a section called Retirement Plans and Social Security 1099-R IRAs. Click on Show More. To the right of IRA, 401k, Pension Plan, Withdrawals 1099-R, click on Start. Here TurboTax should ask you to import your tax info. You can type in the name of your IRA provider, hit enter, and follow the prompts that come after to import your Form 1099-R. If TurboTax is being dumb and the import is not successful, you can upload your digital copy of the Form 1099-R which you can download from your IRA provider's website. Here's how you do it. Click on Change how I enter my form. Here, click on Upload it from my computer. Then click on Continue. Here, either browse for your Form 1099-R in your computer or drag and drop it in here. After that, TurboTax is asking where you got your Form 1099-R from. Just answer accordingly. For most of you, it should be financial institution or other provider. So click on that and then hit continue. Okay, now you want to cross-reference your actual Form 1099-R to what TurboTax interpreted. The first page should have details on your RA provider. Review for correctness and then hit continue. Here, you want to review your distribution information. This should match up with your Form 1099-R. Box 1 shows your total distribution, i.e. the amount you withdrew from your traditional IRA for the Roth IRA conversion. Box 2A, taxable amount should equal Box 1. But important thing is, Box 2B, taxable amount not determined box should be checked. Box 3 to box 6 should be blank. And box 7, the distribution code should be 2. This indicates an early distribution where exception applies. You can refer to the instructions to Form 1099-R for more details. Linked in the description below. And under that, IRA slash simple slash SEP box needs to be checked. Okay, once all of this is good, scroll down and hit continue. Now we got to answer a bunch of questions about your your traditional IRA to Roth IRA conversion. No idea why TurboTax is telling us good news at this page. We are not done yet. Any TurboTax employees watching? It would be great if you could comment down below why this is the case. I'll be interested to know. Click on continue on this page. TurboTax is asking if any of this situation applies to you. Answer according to your situation. If you did what Momoran did, the first flaw shouldn't apply to you. You did not take money out of your traditional IRA for a qualified disaster. You did not inherit this IRA. You did not move this traditional IRA money into a HSA, you did receive a Form 1099-R, so this option shouldn't apply to you either. The fifth one will have to depend on the Form 1099-R that you received from your financial provider. Anyways, hit on continue when you're done. Here we converted our traditional IRA into a Roth IRA. So choose I converted some or all of it. Hit continue. Here, if you converted the entire traditional IRA amount into the Roth IRA like what Momoran did, choose yes. All of this money was converted to a Roth IRA. Hit continue. Hit continue again. Have you ever taken a disaster distribution before the tax year? Should be a no, which I believe is true for most people. Hit continue. Any non-deductible contributions to your IRA in the year prior to the tax year and before? If this is your first year doing the backdoor Roth IRA, and like Mo Morin, you contributed and converted to Roth IRA in 2021, then you can hit no here. Otherwise, let's say you did the backdoor Roth IRA this year, 2022, and will do it again the next year, 2023. Come 2024, when you're doing tax, for 2023, here you can hit yes. And then here, TurboTax will ask you for your traditional IRA basis which you can get from line 14 of your form 8606 from the previous year which should be zero if you follow what Momoran did which is the clean backdoor Roth IRA. Anyways, whether it's a yes or no on this page, the next page will be the same after this. 
hit continue. Here, remember what we said earlier about zeroing out your traditional SEP and simple IRAs before the year end? If you did so, apply zero to all of them and hit continue. Okay, that's it for the questions on the Roth conversion. We will now be back at the main page and now we want to report the non-deductible contribution we made to the traditional IRA. Okay, at the top, click on deductions and credits. Look for a section that says traditional and Roth IRA contributions. And then on the right, click on start. Here, TurboTax is asking which IRAs you contributed to. Since you only contributed to a traditional IRA and then converted, not contributed to your Roth IRA, click on traditional IRA, then click on continue. Is this a repayment of a retirement distribution? No. How much did you contribute to a traditional IRA in 2021? 6,000 here. Again, Momoran is not doing delayed or unplanned backdoor Roth IRA. So zero for contributions between January 2022 and April 18, 2022. Hit continue. We only did a conversion, not re-characterization nor switching. So no. Excess IRA contributions. Momoran is a law-abiding citizen, only contributed the $6,000 maximum, so no. Any non-deductible contributions to your traditional IRA? This is the same question asked earlier, so I will not repeat here again. Here I will choose no and then hit on continue. Value of the traditional IRA on December 31st, 2021. This should be a zero. Hit continue. Here, TurboTax is telling Momoran that his income was too high for an IRA deduction, which is fine. That is why Momoran did a backdoor Roth IRA. Hit continue. Here again, is just a repetition of the earlier page. Yup, Momoran does not get any deduction for his traditional IRA contribution. So the number is zero here. Hit continue. Now, the final important step. Review the Form 8606 that TurboTax generated for you. What is a Form 8606? Basically, you must file a Form 8606 if you made a non-deductible contribution to a traditional IRA. Conversions from traditional, SEP or simple IRA must also be reported in a Form 8606. Okay, this is how a correct Form 8606 should look like. There are two parts to this form. In the part one, line one, non-deductible contribution to traditional IRA should have $6,000. Line 2, total basis in traditional IRA should be 0. Line 3, 6,000. Line 4, blank. Line 5, 6,000. Line 6 to 12 is blank. Line 13, non-taxable portion of your traditional IRA distribution, 6,000. Line 14, total basis of your traditional IRA for 2021 and earlier years, 0. Line 15A, 0. Line 15C, taxable amount, 0. Yay! This is correct because again our distribution, which is a conversion into a Roth IRA, should not be taxed. Things to call out, TurboTax does not fill out lines 6 to 12. And on line 13, which says add lines 11 and 12, which are 0, but there is magically a 6,000 on line 13. You may be wondering why. Notice that at the side of the $6,000, there is a star. And a little ways below, you can see a small text that says star refers to from from taxable IRA distribution worksheet per IRS publication 590B. If you follow the prompts in that worksheet, you will end up with the same numbers here too. Moving on to part 2. Line 16, the net amount you converted from traditional IRA into Roth IRA in 2021, 6,000. Line 17, 6,000. This comes from the IRA distribution worksheet too. And last but not least, line 18, taxable amount, zero. Again, this should be zero because our traditional to Roth IRA conversion is not a taxable event. Part three should be blank because we did not withdraw from our Roth IRA. Okay, again, here's the two pages of the form 8606. Pause this video, take a screenshot. As long as your form 8606 looks like this, you have done your taxes right on a clean backdoor Roth IRA. <laughs> That, I believe, was some very heavy stuff. <sighs> Hopefully you found this TurboTax tutorial on the backdoor Roth IRA helpful. If you did, help me like, subscribe and share. I will need to rest now after all that mental gymnastics. Oh. In the meantime, it's tax season now. Some of these videos could help you out here. Feel free to watch them. Good luck filing taxes, okay? I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.